What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In this video, we will be looking at the best lost sector to farm this season, Exodus Garden 2A, located in the Divide on the Cosmodrome. This is a Void Burn lost sector, and we have Void Shields, so it is perfect because we can spec into all Void. A rare but beautiful situation that makes farming especially smooth. The modifier is Scorched Earth, where enemies throw grenades much more frequently. It is a Fallen lost sector, meaning we have Overload Captains and Barrier Servitors. And as usual, we have match game, extra shields, locked loadouts, and limited revives. With that out of the way, let's get into the first build. This first build is absolutely nuts for this lost sector, and it can be run on any character. So normally, in all my other videos, I break down each aspect, fragment, and mod one by one and say what they do, but for this build, I'm going to do things a little differently. I will show the whole build, but more just talk about how everything synergizes together. So first, for weapons I have Wither Horde, which I don't even end up using, and I would instead recommend running Izanagi's Burden here. This loadout can also be used in the massive version to get easy sub 3 minute runs, and the run I am about to show you is under 90 seconds. It is awesome. So we have Wither Horde, the Void Scout Rifle Aisha's Embrace for Barrier Servitors, which we also do not need, and then the Void Sword from Iron Banner Razor's Edge. Ideally you want one with Chain Reaction so you can use it for ad clear, but this isn't needed and Fallen Guillotine can easily be used here instead. And if you really want the perfect sword, then you also want Tireless Blade for ammo back when you get a kill. And you want Major Spec for extra damage to the champions. Now, we have a hybrid Elemental Well and Charge with Light loadout. Because we use a sword for everything, we have on Elemental Armaments to create a Void Well when we get Void Weapon Kills. This will give us two stacks of Charge with Light from Elemental Charge. It will also give us Volatile Rounds from Volatile Flow, and it will also give us a Void Weapon Damage Boost from Font of Might. And to top it all off, we will get 35% extra sword damage from Lucent Blade. And because the Lost Sector is Void Burn, the sword will also do 50% more damage from that. So basically, your sword is insanely OP. It will kill Barrier Servitors before they can pop a shield, and easily take out Overload Captains in one spin. For Aspects, you want Devour so that you get your health back on a kill. Once you proc Devour, you will chew through the adds and not have to worry about dying or losing Devour at all after that. We also have Echo of Undermining to allow our grenades to weaken enemies. We have Overload Grenades to stun the Overload Captains. And of course we have Harmonic Siphon to allow our sword to make orbs so we can easily have a Nova Bomb for the boss. We also have Sword Ammo Finder and Scavenger on for more sword ammo. And Grenade Kickstart on the gloves just so that we have a bit quicker of a grenade cooldown. The exotic of choice is transverse of steps so we can sprint faster to get through the lost sector quicker. And that is pretty much the whole build. It is so much fun. I haven't had this much fun running a lost sector since I farmed Perdition with a similar build, and that was all arc burn. Anyways, enjoy the run, and I will see you for another awesome build on the Hunter. For the Hunter, we have another super strong build for this lost sector. We are on Void 3.0 with Vanishing Step and Stylish Executioner. For Fragments, we have Echo of Undermining to give us weakened grenades, Echo of Remnants to make our Vortex grenades last longer, Echo of Starvation to grant us Devour when we pick up an Orb of Power, and Echo of Instability to give us Volatile Rounds on a grenade kill. In the Kinetic slot, we have the exotic SMG Osteostriga, which we use to chew through the adds and stun the Overload Captains. We have the Void Scout Rifle Vouchsafe for Barrier Servitors and Void Shields, and then the Void Linear Fusion Rifle Threaded Needle. On the Helmet we have Font of Might for bonus Void Weapon Damage when we pick up a Well, Linear Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and of course Kinetic Siphon so our SMG can make Orbs of Power. On the Gloves we have Elemental Ordnance to make a Void Well with a Grenade Kill. We also have Overload SMG and Anti-Barrier Scout Rifle. On the Chest we have the Exotic Six Coyote for two Dodge Charges, 
We also have Reaping Wellmaker to make a Void Well when we get a Weapon Kill after we dodge. And then we have Thermal Shock Plating on for survivability. On the Boots we have Volatile Flow to give us Volatile Rounds when we pick up a Void Elemental Well. And we have Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Innervation for Grenade Energy when we pick up an Orb of Power. And finally, on the Cloak we have Overload Grenades for stunning the Captains, Double Perpetuation for Dodge Energy back whenever we dodge, and Well of Tenacity for increased survivability. That is it for the build, enjoy the run. For the final build, we are on Titan, running Controlled Demolition for Ad Clear and Offensive Bulwark for faster ability cooldowns. For Fragments, we have Echo of Remnants to increase the duration of our Vortex Grenades, Echo of Expulsion to make enemies explode when we get an ability kill, Echo of Starvation to proc Devour when we pick up an Orb of Power, and Echo of Undermining to allow our Void Grenades to weaken targets. For Weapons, we have the Crate Auto Rifle to stun Overload Captains, the Lamonarch Bow for taking out barriers and dealing with Void Shields, and the Royal Entry Rocket Launcher for big burst damage. On the helmet, we have Elemental Armaments to allow our Lamonarch or Royal Entry to make Void Elemental Wells, Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder for more ammo, and Harmonic Siphon to allow our Void Weapons to make Orbs of Power. On the gloves, we have Font of Might to increase our Void Weapon Damage by 25%. We also have Overload Auto Rifle and Piercing Bowstring. On the chest piece, we have Elemental Ordnance to allow our Grenade Kills to make a Void Well, we also have Thermoshock Plating and Concussive Dampener on for survivability. On the boots we have Radiant Light for an increase to our strength stat, Invigoration for melee energy when we pick up an Orb of Power, and Rocket Launcher Scavenger for more ammo per brick pickup. Finally, on the mark we have Overload Grenades for stunning the captains, Volatile Flow to give our Void Weapons volatile rounds when we pick up a Void Elemental Well, and Double Bomber for grenade energy back when we put down our Barricade. That is it for the build and for the video. This Lost Sector is so freaking fun to farm. I had a ton of fun ripping through it over and over again. Being able to spec fully into Void helps so much. If some of the mods in this video didn't make a ton of sense, then consider checking out my video breaking down every mod in Destiny. I go into more detail and break down exactly how each mod works, so if you're new to build crafting, then that video could definitely help you out. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. And if you made it this far, then I thank you so much for watching. Happy Lost Sector Farming Guardians, and take care.